140 crore people in the nation are awaiting the historic touchdown on the moon. Chandrayaan-3 is just a day away, maneuvering through the last stage of the mission. ISRO has confirmed that the mission is on schedule and Vikram lander is smoothly sailing towards the moon. The systems are undergoing regular checks. Chandrayaan-3 has also sent back more images as it continues to hunt for a landing site. Take a look. take a look at our next report on how Chandrayaan will perform its experiments on the moon and what the success of Chandrayaan-3 would mean for the Indian space sector. Three, two, one, zero. Here comes a teaser from the moon. Pictures of the craters on the lunar surface sent by Chandrayaan-3 have aroused the curiosity of not just 1.4 billion Indians, but the whole world is watching what India's third lunar mission will deliver. Definitely, that is uh, when if you are landing on the moon and uh, to do the scientific experiments and roving, the, then definitely we are the fourth country uh, in the world to do the function that way that globally that also will be will join the elite club of landing on the moon that group will join a successful landing on the moon will put india in the top league with the united states russia and china india will become the fourth nation to achieve a soft landing on the moon and roll out a rover to explore the lunar wilderness but this process hinges on ISRO's highly sophisticated technology. Just to find its own landing place and uh, reduce the velocity from something like uh, uh, three times the velocity of uh, the aircraft to almost uh, a touchdown velocity, a soft placement of the spacecraft on the moon. So this uh, requires uh, uh, the, uh, very complex technologies involving stereo cameras, laser, rangers, radars, and all these signals getting into a computer and carrying out the, all the operations in an autonomous manner. So it is a technology demonstration in terms of the hardware and software it is the first and foremost challenge. The lander is equipped with four payloads. It includes Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment to measure the thermal conductivity and temperature. An instrument to record seismic activity around the landing site. The Langmuir probe to estimate the plasma density and its variations. And fourth is a payload from NASA for lunar laser ranging studies. Now land has been landed the lander on the surface of the moon. Vikram ke land has been landed, the rover will come out and it will of course explore the entire surface of the moon and gather important critical data, send it back to Earth, transmit all the data back to Earth. And when this is all happening, the rover and the lander will always stay connected. This is the lander here on the surface of the moon and here is the rover. The rover will move around the surface of the moon and collect important data. The rover is carrying two critical payloads which will function for one lunar day, that is 14 Earth days. Both the instruments on the rover will study the elemental composition around the landing site. This technology demonstration of both hardware and software is testimony to ISRO's growing prowess. From 1975, when it launched Aryabhat with Soviet assistance to landing an object on the moon. Chandrayaan 3's success could open the floodgates for India's space industry. Apart from boosting commercial opportunities, it will draw in venture capitalists. India's space economy, which was at $9.6 billion in 2020, is projected to grow to $13 billion 
in 2025. We are uh, collaborating not only with uh, the space fairy nation, we are collaborating with the space aspiring nation also. So we are trying to help them technologically how to do the space activities also for launching the satellite and uh, they are making, uh, making their uh, satellites to make uh, with, uh, with, uh, sometimes uh, with no money or with a small amount of money. Bigger collaborations may follow Chandrayaan 3. For now the world is waiting for India's lunar mission to unravel the mysteries on the south pole of the moon.